What's up everybody, Dan here from Headwaters. And behind me, I've got the brand new Caribbean 10 from Eddie Line Kayaks. This is a 10 foot ultra small boat. Kind of compares to a Sky 10, but a sit on top version. I'm here at Riverbound Sports in Tempe, Arizona. They happen to have one here on the floor. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough for you guys, tell you who I think it's right for. And uh, yeah, just show you the boat. Here it is, the brand new Caribbean 10. You'll also hear it referred to as the C10 by folks. And what it is, it's basically a scaled down version of the Caribbean 12. The Caribbean 12 is a great boat for people that are, you know, 150 to 250 pounds. This boat was built and scaled down for a smaller paddler. You'll notice it has a lot of the same features as a Caribbean 12, just in a smaller, more compact, lighter weight package. In fact, let's talk about the weight. This boat comes in at 40 pounds, fully rigged, just how you see it. So pretty lightweight for a sit on top, but the same concept of a small throw and go boat that's easy to fit in a car, on a car, easy to load and unload. So let's go front to back and just talk about features a little bit. You start off in the front with a grab handle, pretty standard. They use a 10 inch round hatch. They obviously had to use a little smaller one because you have a little smaller area to deal with. As we move back into the cockpit here, it looks pretty familiar. You do have a little flat mounting spot if you wanted to add a, uh, you know, a RAM mount or some sort of mount for your phone. You also have a little bit of track right here. So if you wanted to add a pole holder, that's no problem. Same adjustable foot pedals, really easy pinch style. They're very solid, very secure on the edge lines. Cockpit length is a little on the short side. So if you are, you know, six foot or above, I would say this isn't your boat. It's really designed for a smaller person in mind. Um, I do fit in it. What I do is I just put my feet all the way here. But with those foot pedals in there, my legs are too long and I have a 34 inch inseam. So just a heads up, if you're a bigger person, you're going to want to sit in it. It was really designed for a smaller paddler in mind. Uh, same seat that they've used. This is a breathable kind of a mesh material. It doesn't hold water. It's UV resistant. Clips in real easy to the boat. To uh, You've got positions all around the boat here. It's got lots of adjustment. And I like these seats, they actually mold to your back really well. On the side here, you see the side handles. These are nice grab handles to pick the boat up from moving around, but you can also just snap your paddle in there. It's kind of a neat thing that Eddie Line does on all their sit on tops. Decent sized tank well, not huge, but it is big enough for a small crate or a small cooler if you wanted to go that route. Bungee in here to support everything. And then behind, in the back side of the tank well, you have a little hatch. Mostly just an access hatch, but you can put a dry bag in there if you wanted to. Things that you don't need access to while you're on the water. In the back, you got another side handle. Turned it up on its side here so you can see the hole design. It's got the same gullwing hole design that we're used to seeing on all the Eddyline Caribbean models. And what this does, it gives you a keel that runs all the way from the bow to the stern. Incredible tracking. But it also gives you these nice buoyant edges right here. These edges are what makes the kayak feel really, really stable. So even though it's only 10 foot long, it's actually gonna track and feel like a much longer boat because of the way they do their keel. So really it's nothing super new or super surprising, but it's a very cool boat and I definitely think it fills out the Eddie Line line. If you're familiar with the Caribbean 12 and you love the Caribbean 12 and you're a smaller paddler, we have a boat for you. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna be doing a demo day here in the next couple of days and I'm gonna be getting a bunch of people in the Caribbean 10 tomorrow. So I look forward to getting some footage of people on the water. I'll try to add that into this video so you can see a variety of different people paddling it. So the next day we made our way out to Sororo Lake on a beautiful 70 degree sunny day. And we were able to get about a dozen people on the water testing all the different Eddie Line models. The Caribbean 10 was definitely a hit. A lot of families out there, a lot of people jumping in it for the first time. And how old are you? Five. Five years old and you're doing it all by yourself. That's awesome. What do you think about the Caribbean 10? Uh, it's absolutely fabulous. It's so smooth and so easy. Glides so amazingly. That's awesome. Very comfortable. <laughs> I'm glad you loved it. Super comfortable, yeah. So you guys have seen a bunch of footage of other people in the boat. I thought it would be time to get myself in it. I want you to know I'm too big for it. I'm 220 pounds. This was designed for a small paddler. In fact, when I get in here, I took the foot pedals all the way off. So check it out. My feet just rest against the bulkhead here. I'm getting a little bit of water in the cockpit because again, at 220 pounds, 
um, I'm, I overweighted a little bit, but it still feels plenty stable and I could totally put scuffer plugs in there if I wanted to. But a nice warm day like this in Arizona, I don't have too much to worry about. I'm gonna take it for a little paddle, so uh, let's check it out. Yeah, it's a sweet paddle on a little boat. Um, for those that want a 10 foot small thrown go kayak, ultra light, I think Eddie Line hit the nail on the head. Hopefully it gives you an idea of who it might be right for. If you have any questions though, leave those in the comments below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching you guys. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.